Ooh, let's go a chicken sandwich with no lettuce. Here we go, the big chicken or the chicken? Uh, the McChicken, chicken, please. Okay. No lettuce in the deal. Hello, guys. Ian's a fat. <laughs> <laughs> So me and Ian are having a cute little date night. We used to do these all the time where one of us would pick the date. Um, hold on please. Thank you. This week it's my turn to pick what we do for our date. So we're going to the movies. But he doesn't know that, but he actually guessed it because we've been wanting to go for weeks now. But basically one picks a date and it's like a surprise for the other one. But this little curious bugger already figured it out. He also didn't eat dinner for us. So his little hungry booty got McDonald's. We, I'm in park guys, see? See? Now we're at a gas station because Ian, I have to explain it to Ian because he's a giggler. Every single time we go to the movies, Ian never picks out a treat or popcorn or everything. So we came here because I'm forcing you to pick out a treat because you have wow. to have a treat for the movie. Yeah, I'm a toxic girlfriend. <gasps> I'm just kidding. Am I a toxic girlfriend? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, You're rude. Let's see. Is he going to do it? Oh. <laughs> okay guys, let's give a haul. I got, these are my favorite things ever. I got these, but after a few, I like need some chocolate in my blood. So I got a couple of these, just a little, little, just little mini ones, just so I can have a little bit, because I'll probably only have this bag. Yeah, she really wanted me to get something, but I didn't. He got butterfingers. Butter I had to tell Ian today. Actually, I'm not gonna share that information with you guys. Okay, is it going? Hey, can you guys <laughs> hear me over here? Let me, before I get started into the logistics of it, don't sneak candy into movie theaters, but if you're planning on doing it without my influence, let me show you how. The first tip, the first tip is getting a big shirt. This is a good example. I got this off Depop if you want to copy me. Second step is big pockets. These ones are pretty, pretty medium size. Yeah. I would say they're adjustable because I have a big shirt to cover up any evidence. So um, you just stuff them in there, pat them down, maybe adjust it a bit, um, show the pocket. Oh my gosh, sorry guys, he's never filmed before. And then you just cover it up. Can you tell? Here, let me let me do a practice run. Can you tell? <laughs> what? Okay, yeah. this one's a little easier because it's like just a little bitty size. Just pack it in there. Yeah. Boom. I don't even know what my next move is. Okay, girl, your turn. So what I do is I just hold them and I carry them in. No, that is against the rules. We made it. Hey, licensed real estate company with the, the area successful <laughs> that movie was crazy i wasn't planning on recording but i wanted to show you guys my fix i really like it i curled my hair with like a big barrel so it's just like loose curls but i got this cute little sweater from urban outfitters and these adorable jeans from urban i just love the cute cozy fit and then these uggs and i'm loving it i feel like i'm a new yorker today emmy's boyfriend did make fun of my shoes so the fit wasn't a hit today, but it's okay. I don't care what little freshmen think. I got an exciting package in the mail. I've been waiting for this thing. As you guys know, I love roses. Like, if this isn't enough evidence, I came across this brand that sells, like, permanent roses, and they last, like, a whole year. So immediately, I was intrigued. Rose Forever is a New York-based company, and they've been doing it since 2019. Oh boy. <gasps> I'm so excited. You can pick any color you want, but I picked this black velvet box. Oh my gosh. Dude, those are beautiful and they're real. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. They sell luxurious rose boxes and they last a year and they're real roses. All of the box, the velvet, everything is vegan. They go through this like whole process to keep like the pigmentation like rich and full in color. So I think it's so cool. I'm so excited to put it on my dresser. I mean, look at that. I'll probably throw these away because they are very, very old and then I'll just scoot that in there. Oh, that is beautiful. But they are from Rose Forever and if you want, you can use my discount code AVIA25 for $25 off your purchase. And me and you can match with some beautiful roses. Hey, have I showed you guys a new room? It's very updated since last time I showed you. They hung up this mirror. He hung I up did. this mirror. Yeah, he did. Thank you. You're welcome. And then he put these LED lights up. They're a lot better. Well, I actually helped with these. I put up that side. He put up that side. There is a gap in the middle. So if you have OCD, don't look at that. Because we did this. Look. Oops. Look at this. We brought we, it up. Uh, it looks cool, like, going up, but then uh, there's no room over there. there. Yeah, yeah, I'll fix it. And then he has this little TV with a little wax warmer, this cute little bed. It's like a vibe. He has like posters. They're kind of weird, but it's okay. They're so fun. They're Whatever. so fun. I swear, every time I film, we're eating food. But like, food is fun. Food is joy. Crumble but cups. Ian got this week's crumble cookies. This is what they look like. Mm. I think they're pink for breast cancer awareness one, but I'm not FS for sure on that She's one. She's not FS. But we're going to try them out because I always see people rating them and I'm like down to rate them. Okay, Ian, do you want to rate this one first? 
I'll bite the same one you bite. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this one. It's like pink and fluffy. I forgot what that one's called. Oh, yeah, me too. Okay, we're gonna take a bite. Should we take a bite at the same time? Be like romantic? <laughs> That was embarrassing. It's very lemony. Mm, yeah. If you, if you like le lemon, I definitely recommend this one. I'm going to say a 7 out of 10. Because it's not too tart and it's not too sweet. It's like right in the middle. I'll go with the 7. 7? That's a great. He's yeah. going to go with every single one I go through. Probably. Next you we have a donut. We look like a freaking cooking show. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to take a bite and give it to you because we looked dumb the last time we did that. Oh, okay. It's so soft. I really like that one. Not at all like donut. <laughs> I'm going with the 10 here. This I'm going to go with the 9. That one's a lot better than the one before. Okay, this one looks fun. It has like crumblies on it with some cream. We need to remember the names. How do we remember yeah. the names? Goofs. I'm going to have to vacuum after this. Mmm. I really like that one. I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10 because the cream is kind of like cream cheese and then it's really soft. Mm. And it's like kind of like a sugar cookie. Wow, this is fun. That's pretty good. I'm going to have to go with the 9 <laughs> on there. Oh, we only have one more. I was liking this game. Okay, this one looks like this. It kind of looks like it has a marshmallow in it. And I love s'mores, so hopefully it kind of tastes like that. Hey, girl. You excited to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> You're, like, licking your lips. It does mm. have stuff inside of it. Mmm. I really like that one. That one's also like a sugar cookie, but with a marshmallowy kind of taste. Overall, that was fun. Wow. I'll have to give that one a 9 as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably 9 out of 10. Overall... I would say 9.8 out of 10. Yeah, Because this one was like, I no, couldn't eat okay. a full one of these. Yeah. Cause, Just like a bite. Our little teeth. Yeah, but these, okay. I could eat all these right now. Yeah. Yeah. All of them? Yep. All I them. agree. Can I take a bite? Mmm. <laughs>